In the 1960s and 70s, the swing wing was the design of choice for strategic bombing and attack aircraft. Where the future of advanced high-speed flight incorporated the swing wing capability to streamline aircraft further. The term swing wing is an airplane wing or set of wings that may be swept back and then returned to its original straight position during flight. It allows the aircraft shape to be modified in flight and is therefore an example of a variable geometry aircraft. Today we're going to discuss 10 of the most awesome swing wing aircraft ever built. Let's check it out. At number 1 we have Bell X-5. The X-5 was an experimental single-seat, single-engine, jet-powered fighter design prototype produced by the Bell Aircraft Company and became the first aircraft to make use of in-flight variable geometry wings. Its roots originated in the German Messerschmitt MEP.1101, of which the X-5 borrowed heavily from in terms of the overall design. Only two X-5 prototypes were ever produced, with the second being lost to accident. The X-5 program was being considered for an American NATO low-cost tactical fighter initiative. The two aircraft made their first flights on June 20 and December 10, 1951. Almost 200 flights were made at speeds of up to Mach 0.9 and altitudes of 40,000 feet. One aircraft was lost on the 14th of October 1953 when it failed to recover from a spin at 60 degree sweep back. Air Force Captain Ray Popson died in the crash at Edwards Air Force Base. The other X-5 remained at Edwards and continued active testing until 1955 and remained in service as a chase plane until 1958. Number 2. General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark the Aardvark was the first variable sweep aircraft to enter production, and the wings could sweep from 16 degrees to 72.5 degrees. But a swing wing wasn't the only pioneering technology on this jet. It also paved the way for terrain-following radar, making it capable of high-speed, low-level flight. The F-111 Aardvark swing-wing bomber was introduced in 1967 and retired in 1996 from active service with the United States Air Force, followed shortly by its counterpart, the EF-111 Raven. Number 3. Mikoyan Garovich MiG-23 the Mikoyan Garovich MiG-23 Flogger was the first Soviet aircraft to feature variable sweep wings and paved the way for the equally successful MiG-27 Flogger ground strike variant. Also, it was the Soviet Union's first jet equipped with look-down or shoot-down radar, as well as the first to have side-mounted air intakes. The MiG-23 was first officially commissioned into the Soviet Air Forces on January 4, 1974, and it was retired in 1998. Number 4. Panavia Tornado The Tornado is one of the most recognizable swing-wing aircraft. The Tornado has another rare feature of fighter aircraft, which is thrust reversers. The reversers were put on to increase S-tall capability. The Tornado is also a family of twin-engine, variable sweep-wing, multi-role combat aircraft jointly developed and manufactured by Italy, the United Kingdom, and West Germany. The Panavia Tornado was developed and built by Panavia Aircraft GmbH, a tri-national consortium consisting of British Aerospace, MBB of West Germany, and Aeritalia of Italy. It first flew on August 14, 1974 and was introduced into service in 1979-1980. Number 5. Sukhoi Su-24 the Sukhoi Su-24 Fencer was the Soviet's answer to the American General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark. 
The Soviet design was no doubt inspired by the impressive and powerful swing-wing American design and attempted to follow suit with an equally capable mount worthy of her Soviet airmen. After some 35-plus years of active service, the end is near for the impressive fencer gradually outdated in many facets of her makeup. In all, approximately 1,400 SU-24s have been produced by Sukhoi OKB in three distinct operational variants and delivered to a handful of foreign operators. Number 6. Rockwell B-1B Lancer It's the only active swing-wing aircraft in the U.S. Air Force and it packs a punch. This Mach 1.25 bomber can carry 125,000 pounds of payload, and with over 120,000 pounds of thrust, it can get places quickly. The B-1 was first used in combat in support of operations in Iraq during Operation Desert Fox in December 1998, employing unguided GP weapons. B-1s have been subsequently used in Operation Allied Force Kosovo and most notably in Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan and the 2003 invasion of Iraq. Number 7. Tupolev Tu-160 Since its inception, the Tupolev-produced Tu-160 has been the largest jet-powered swing-wing combat aircraft platform ever produced, mounting the most powerful jet engines fitted to any military aircraft. Developed as a direct counterproduct to the United States Air Force's Rockwell B-1 Lancer strategic bomber, the Tu-160 was designed to fulfill the slightly different role of standoff missile launching. In contrast, the B-1 served primarily to deliver large amounts of precision munitions in the form of cruise missiles and other potent air-to-surface types. In April 1987, the Tu-160 entered operational service with the 184th Guards Heavy Bomber Regiment located at Priluki Air Base, Ukrainian SSR. Number 8. Tu-22M The Tupolev Tu-22M Backfire is a supersonic swing-wing development related to the original 1960s-era Tu-22 Blinder medium bomber. It is a dedicated strategic bombing and maritime strike platform primarily serving Soviet interests both during the Cold War and even today. The Tu-22M represents a further evolution of the original Tu-22 blinder which failed to impress along many lines. However, the Tu-22M incorporated enough major changes that it could be considered an all-new bomber aircraft and brought about improved use of missile armament and supersonic flight as well as introduced variable geometry wings. Number 9. Su-17 the Mach 2 capable Sukhoi Su 17 fitter was a further development of the successful Su 7 Fitter A fighter bomber family line detailed elsewhere on this site. The aircraft incorporated a partial variable geometry wing, swing wing system, and improved upon the former's takeoff and landing attributes as well as performance at the low level as required of it during ground attack runs. The Su-17 was developed into the export Su-20 and Su-22 fitter models of varying avionics, engines, and weapons. In all, some 2,867 Su-17, Su-20, Su-22 fitters were produced with almost half of these made available to Soviet export customers. Also, over a dozen nations took delivery of the type, making it a staple fighter bomber throughout the Cold War. And at number 10, we have Grumman F-14 Tomcat. It's become one of the most impressive Navy aircraft to ever fly. 
The F-14 could reach speeds of Mach 2.34, had over 54,000 pounds of thrust, and starred in the best aviation movie ever made. The F-14 was designed from the outset as a carrier-based fighter. Unlike the F-111B, which was born from a land-based fighter-bomber airframe, the F-14, however, retains many of the qualities and components inherent of the F-111B, such as the swing wing, variable geometry wing assemblies, radar system with long-range missile support, two-man crew, and twin-engine layout. Total F-14 production by Grumman yielded 712 aircraft, and these were manufactured from the period of 1969 to 1991. Non-combat attrition proved relatively high for the series in that some 160 were lost in accidents alone. Many preserved F-14 Tomcats are showcased at outdoor and indoor displays across the United States today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.